this Drupal 7 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create custom products in Drupal Commerce. The Commerce Custom Products module allows the creation of custom line items on products for customer input. Custom line items for products are essential when customers must define something about the product that they're adding to the cart. A few examples of how you may use Commerce Custom Products includes event or other registrations, donations, inscriptions for products, and much more. This tutorial assumes that you have already downloaded and installed the required modules and dependencies below. And since this guide builds on my previous tutorials, I already assume that you know how to create a product type, how to add your products, and how to create a product display. If you don't know how to add products, product types, or product displays, please see my other tutorial videos to get you started. Now for this tutorial, I have already created a basic product type called event. I've also created two products for my event dinner, dinner one and dinner two, which you can see here. And I've also created my content type for my product display and added a product display node, which you can see here. Now since my event is a dinner, I really should collect dietary information from my customer. To collect this information though, I'll need to create a product with custom line items. I'll navigate from Store, Configuration, Line Item Types. I'm going to add a product line item type, and I'm going to call it Event Registration. Save Line Item Type. Select Manage Fields. I'm going to create a new field called Dietary Requirements, and it's going to be a list text field with checkboxes to save. I'm going to require this field. Now, in order for my users to add information to this field on my cart form, I'm going to select include this field on the add to cart forms for line items of this type. And I've already populated my allowed values list and select save. Next, I'm just going to create a long text field to be a catch all for any additional information. Save. I'm not going to require this one, but I am going to reduce the number of rows visible and include this as well on the Add to Cart. Select Save. I'm going to go from Structure, Content Types, and I'm going to choose Manage Display on my Event Registration, which will be my product display for my customized product. I've already adjusted the display settings here, as you can see. But on the Add to Cart form for my product reference, I'm going to select the gear and then choose Event Registration for my Add to Cart line item type. Update, Save. Now I'm going to go back to my node here. As you can see, my dietary requirements and allergy information is included on my Add to Cart form. Let's just take this one step further. Let's say I have an allergy to peanuts and I select Add to Cart. When I view my cart, as you can see, we have our original reference product here, but we don't see data from the new custom line items. To view that data in your shopping cart or your checkout pages, you can edit the views here by just simply adding new fields. But today, that concludes my video on custom line items for customizable products. Thanks for watching.